Hi, Dave here at Photokina, and I'm on the Photodioc stand with Bohush, and he has some really very interesting adapters um, that we've caught sight of. So, Bohush, if you could tell us a little bit about what you've got going on here. Great. Hey there. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we've done tons of adapters. We have like 400 different adapters at Photodiox, but we've been concentrating on the Sony, uh, Sony camera. Lots of great stuff happening in their camp. So we've got like a new kind of regular old mechanical adapter. This is a Nikon G to E mount. We call it the DLX because um, on a normal adapter, you know, you have about a centimeter's worth of throw to get the entire aperture range. With this one, it's geared. So you have a nice, slow aperture control. So if, uh, especially if you're shooting cinema, that's really nice to be able to get gradual, uh, gradual effect. Or if you just want precise control, this is the way to do it. This is fully mechanical. But we also do smart adapters, like um, this has been an excellent seller. This is a Canon EF to Sony E-mount. We call it the Fusion because it's got technology inside to let the Canon speak to the Sony camera. And that's kind of easy to do because those lenses are fully electronic. So you get really high compatibility. Basically any Canon lens you throw on here is going to work. But the challenge has always been, could we do Nikon the same way? And this is the Nikon to Sony E-mount Fusion adapter. So finally, uh, nobody's been able to achieve this yet. We can get a Nikon lens to speak with the Sony camera. That means you get autofocus, you get aperture confirmation, autofocus, uh, focus confirmation, image stabilization, all the stuff that when you power a lens, all the stuff you get with that. Plus, even if it's not a fully electronic lens, we've got in here our little aperture lever, and there's a motor inside there and the motor is activated by the electronics of the Sony. So even an older lens, an older Nikon lens, is gonna have full benefit of autofocus control, aperture control, all that kind of stuff. So we have finally done it. And uh, it's built to our usual tough as nail standard. It's got its own tripod foot, it's all one piece. Um, if you've been following with what Photodiox does, um, we're big into having solid mounts. We were the ones who came up with a replacement kit to replace the original mounts on a lot of Sony, the plastic mounts on Sony cameras. So this thing is a rock. You know, you've got nothing to worry about, no flex. And uh, we will be shipping this in hopefully two to three weeks from now. Okay, and what's the price point on it? Where's it coming in? Uh, 350 US, somewhere oh. like that. About 350 US, wow, that's very good. Now, you said that there's really good compatibility. If we if we look across, you know, you give us kind of a percentage. I know there's a you're trying to play with a lot of older lenses as well, and that makes it hard. That's that's the thing. It's it's hard to predict exactly. Like with with full electronic lenses, like the Canon, it's all it's easier to say. Oh, we can give you like 95% compatibility with this guy because you're dealing with some semi-mechanical, some electronic lenses. We can say modern lenses are going to work great. The older lenses that are kind of the hybrid system, you're going to maybe have a little bit of difficulty here and there. We've got a growing list of compatibility of compatible lenses on our website at photodeox.com. So I would check there first to make sure your favorite lens is ready for the Fusion adapter. Perfect. You also mentioned uh, the the build. I mean, we've got a what's this? A 14 to 24. 14 to 24, real beefcake lens. Probably my favorite Nikon lens. Okay. And you know, it's heavy. There's a lot of glass in there. And again, we give you the tripod foot right on the adapter, so you don't have to worry about pulling the little tripod screw out of the camera body itself. And you might notice I'm also using our cage. This is called a shark cage. Uh, this gives you an extra wood grip, two-handed grip, mostly for cinema guys, but lots of photo guys use this as well. You can reach all the knobs and buttons and the battery. And there's even a rod system that clips on the bottom, which I've lost. Oh, here. Looks like that. And this all comes in the kit. And this is a three and a quarter US. Um, so very nice for run and gun kind of setups and the leather strap actually locks around your wrist so you can't drop the camera. So if you're looking for kind of a, a bigger system, shark cage might not be a bad, bad way to keep everything nice and stable. I'm, I'm curious, obviously, when you start putting adapters in, you might run the risk of a bit of vignetting. Is that, are we likely to see that as yeah, an issue? Yeah, we, we don't have that with this guy. Like, we, like I said, we have something like 400 adapters. So the boys who make the adapters know adapters. So. We haven't seen any kind of vignetting problem or anything like that. With, uh, with this adapter, Nikon lenses can act very much like native Sony lenses, as much as possible. Fantastic. OK. Well, thank you very much. Um, very, very interesting, particularly the shark cage as well. Uh, it seems like a really good solution for, uh, for kind of beefing up this system and giving you a lot more compatibility with a variety and of lenses. And nice blunt force trauma if you get attacked. Can never have too much blunt force no, trauma. No, sir. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you.